Life on board really just depends on the conditions so much. Essentially you're living in this little black box that just gets thrown around all over the place. Uh, it's like living on board a roller coaster. The condition on, on board is not, uh, are not really easy and when we have some waves it's not easy to find a place to sleep. And I'm okay with other, we have a smaller a space of life than on the, on the 65 so it means uh, less intimacy, you're really close to your teammates uh, all the time. So when you sleep you hear also what's happening on, on deck at more than on the 65s. Um, yeah, so that, that's a bit different. Living is definitely uh, one way to put it. I'm not sure if we do really, kind of more survive. Um, like we do eat, but it's freeze-dried food. You know, we make it just using like a single, like little uh, gas camping stove. You know, you boil the water, put it in the pot, and wait for it to rehydrate. It's not the worst thing in the world to eat, but it's not exactly the most exciting. We are tired in an uncomfortable condition, and uh, we need to have a good mood all the time and uh, that is not easy. It's a little bedroom for all of us, uh, all the time, to go on the toilet, to, to eat, to, um, uh, to do some uh, navigation, to, uh, to speak, uh, to change us. It's, it's strange at the beginning for me because we are all together, but it's really great experience. Uh, we, need to, we need to learn the guys, to learn the mind, to, to be care about all, and uh, no, it's a really great experience. Uh, I think for sure the, the 65s are more comfortable than the IMOCAS. Um, so life on board is easier. Um, but, um, but yeah, I mean, the IMOCAS to me it's a new challenge. It's, a, it's really interesting boats, fast boats. So um, yeah, it, you're happy, I think, to pay this price of uncomfort to, to get the interest of the IMOCAS class. We want to win. It's the reason everyone's here, I think, at the end of the day, especially on our team, like we're all here with one goal, and that's to win the Ocean Race Europe. And I don't know, you suck it up, you go for it, you work hard, and hopefully, when you finish, you're the first one to cross the line. <laughs>